Shout out Clock in TV. Clock in TV. Shout out to Clock in TV. Also shout out Clock in TV. You know we clocked in. Clock in TV. Hey man, Clock in TV man, top in this area man, for real, top in the nation man, for real. <laughs> Getting it today. Getting we, got, it today. we got going on here. We got, hey, we getting it today. Old Mess first pro day, baby. Let's go, guys. Hey, my name is Stokely Schaefer. I'm from Oakland, California. 
25 years old, trying to, you know, trying to do my thing. That's it. How was the competition today? Oh, it was cool. It was a good competition. You know, we all family and everything, but you know, all the guys came out and still did their thing. We had a group, good group of guys here at OMS, and everybody, you know, everybody gonna get get to where they need to get to. Most definitely. Hey, what about you? Out? Trying to get, trying to get, trying to get to the top. That's what brought me out. Trying to get. Uh, as many offers as much as possible, you know, trying to make a way for me and my family and those those that come after me, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Hey, if you can inspire somebody today, man, go inspire somebody. Inspire all the kids out in Oakland, you know, all the kids that got to work harder than the others, you know what I'm saying? I started off as a walk-on in college and look where we at now, you know what I'm saying? So as long as you keep working, you're going to get there, that's it. Hey, shout out to Clock In TV. Follow me on Instagram at Starnez22, S-T-A-R-N-E-Z-2-2, that's it. That's a pro's pro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't just got it for no reason. It's a reason. God damn right. Damn Clark right. TV. Follow them boys. My name is DJ Haynes from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm with OMS. Came out just to get an experience. Uh, I already signed for year four to Austria. So I was out here just trying to make a name for myself and put springs on the map. Baby, not, we clocked here, not out. Baby, yeah. Uh, shout out to Clock in TV, and you can follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore COBYY55. Okay. Man, right now this intensity looking intense. I'm telling you, baby. What we got right now is we got these guys out here doing their thing and trying to get a butt, brother. Oh uh, man, what's going do? on today? What's going on? What, what is this for? So right now this is for OMS, man. We are here at OMS live event, uh, agency event here. Obviously, you can see we got a lot of scouts in the building, man. It's much love for these guys. We just wanted to come in, put their best foot forward, mm -hmm. show what they got, man, and hopefully go on to better, bigger, better things. You know what I'm saying? How long y'all been in the program? So we've been in the program, man. They've been doing this about three years. I had an agency right before that, man, and they've kind of been acquired by them. So I'm just out here helping out, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, great turnout, brother. Oh, great turnout, you oh, know man. what I mean? I Beautiful it. turnout, oh, man. Man, shout out Clocked In TV with my man right here, all right? Y'all make sure to check him out. IG, Facebook, all that good stuff, man. Holla at him. character company um, and these guys believe in us since day one and we're just happy you know we're, ha we're happy to represent them you can follow us on instagram at uh, one motor sports uh, and if you have any inquiries if you're looking to play ball if you're looking to further your uh, career you know we do exposure camps as well we have one coming up on the 23rd of july so if you would like to attend please contact myself or drew kelso uh, via instagram and facebook you know we're more than happy to help so where's it gonna be located uh, it's going to be located in St. Louis, Missouri. 
Man, I'm locked in with Clock In TV, man. We are extremely excited to have them covering our OMS event, and we look forward to doing more with them. So, shout out, shout out to Clock In TV, lock in with them. What up, man? I'm Eddie Denard, aka the also the owner of Fire Mixtapes. Um, it's a great event, man. These guys are here working, competing, uh, trying to get a job. Everybody in here trying to, you know, make something out of nothing and, you know, have some success with the basketball. So, basketball can take you real far. And hopefully, it'll take these guys real far. Mm -hmm. What's your contribution to the, uh, the event, man? So, I do a lot of video promotion to help guys get contracts, uh, help guys, you know, get exposure. Um, I've been doing it for about eight years now. Uh, and I started it because I had to get exposure for myself. And uh, I, was, I played in China for a little while and then I needed a, a video. Somebody tried to charge me like $400 for a video and I was like, man, no, I'm going to do this on my own. So I was self-taught with it and, and now it's gotten me here helping these guys out and, you know, steady contributing to the game of basketball even though I'm not playing. On me, on me, on me. How's the competition? Anybody stand out to you? Man, there's a lot of talent in here, man. All these guys really playing hard, man. The, the, the bigs in there dominating in the paint, the guards making plays on the perimeter. So there's a lot of talent over here, man. These guys competing, and they trying to get a contract, so. Hey, man. Can we get a hey, man. Clock in TV, man. Top in this area, man. For real. Top in the nation, man. For real. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, the OMS client, Jared Davis. Uh, he played last season in KB Kamza in Albania. Uh, we're excited to have him, looking forward to having an illustrious pro career. So he fits what we do at Ramona Sports. Glad to have him and all the other guys here in attendance. Mm -hmm. Hey man, you heard it here first. Hey, he gave us five stars, five diamonds. Five stars, man. Five stars? Yeah, five stars, man. We earned that? Man, y'all earned that. For sure. Y'all earned that, y'all get that. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Appreciate it. We travel. We travel. We travel. We be doing the kids, so we can turn up for us. Hit me there. Whenever y'all out there, what's up? I got y'all. We like open. Win the game, you win the game. Yeah. What am I talking about? You be the guy that gets 20 rebounds. Okay? If I'm out here looking, I want to go. He really cares about getting 50 boards. You own the 50 boards. Okay? Don't over dribble. One of the worst things you see is guys just wearing out a good basketball. All right? Be a great talker. Yeah. Communicate with each other and great shots. Yeah. Every guy, I know every one of you guys play the game at a high level. You know what a good shot is. So do these guys that are going to be watching. Okay? So I don't know who the hell you are, but let's just play together. Okay? Yes, play together and make the extra pass. Yes, Bring it in. Pride. Yes, yes, sir. Hurry. Play smart. I don't need to see everybody doing 20 dribbles into a pro. We got people from the NBA here. We got people from BBL Germany, Serie A, Italy, Australia, wherever. They know what a basketball player looks like. They know what a pro player looks like. Okay? They know you don't, you don't have to do a million things to impress these guys. Uh. Five stars? Man, five stars, man. We earned that? Man, y'all earned that. For sure. Y'all get that. For sure, for sure. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Drew Kelso from One Motor Sports. I just want to, first of all, shout out Clock TV TV uh, for helping us do our first OMS Pro Day here in Vegas during Summer League. A uh, great event today. We really were pleased with the event. Had, you know, 75 plus personnel in here from all over the world. 
uh, had 20, you know, 20 guys of ours that needed the exposure or wanted more exposure and couldn't ask for anything more. So we're, we're thankful for that. Um, great opportunity for our guys to be seen. And, you know, they took advantage, you know, so it's a, you know, a blessing to be here. And uh, we're excited about it. Definitely, definitely. All the players we interviewed today, they love the competition level, they love the opportunities y'all provide. Sure. Talk to us about that just a little bit. I mean, I think when you put 20 pros in the gym, if they're real pros, they're gonna get after it no matter what. You know, and I think, a lot of a lot of alpha dogs in there that are, are trying to they they see the other guys they, they might not even know each other either in the same agency, yeah. um, you know. But letting them go at each other and uh, just being a part of you know you know it's the summertime you know you, you can go to the gym and, and get a pickup running but it's hard to get with 20 pros you know what I mean. So uh, I think you know just in general I just think guys you know, the bright lights with all the scouts and, and all of that you see some NBA people walking around with notebooks and all that kind of stuff it's, it's a good look. Not a fact. How, uh, how much pressure is it just to play in under these kind of conditions? You like? It's tough, I mean, but that's what being a pro is about, right? You've got to be able to accept, you know, playing in front. That's why, you know, the guys are trying to be pros, you know, they, or maybe they don't have the talent or maybe they can't handle the pressure. So, I mean, for our, our guys, I thought the majority of them play well and, like, some of them really, like, raised their stock way higher than where they even was walking in here. You know, some of them got seen around the way. Um, you know, so it's good. It's good. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Uh, the youth. What would you, would you tell them to, to, to the youth? You sure? The youth. The youth. What would you tell them? Some inspiration. Man, the youth. Uh, just keep keep pushing. Keep grinding, man. We got a whole bunch of underdogs that were in here. A lot of them got overlooked around the way. Um, myself included. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to do, just make sure you stay at it. Be, be If you're trying to be a pro, be a pro every day. You don't have to be a certain age to, to handle yourself like a pro. Do the right things. Do good in school. Do all that stuff. Stay out. Watch what you're posting on social media, all that stuff. So, you know, just just keep keep grinding. Man. That's the best thing I can tell. I mean, what does one motive mean? Man, uh, long story short, we actually uh, named the company after my partner and I's best friend that passed away. And uh, his, his one motive in life, he had one motive tattooed across his chest. His one motive in life was to pursue happiness. And he passed away, so we, we took that and ran with it. So for us, like, this is what makes us happy. Our one motive is to get back to these guys and, and live up to the legacy that was laid out for us. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to wrap it up real quick. Last question. Yep. Uh, how big is content as a, as a pro, as an athlete, trying to grind the journey? How big is content just capturing that? And how, how big is that? I think it's huge. I think content is everything. The way social media is ran now, and you know, I mean, it, it can be positive content or negative content. Not, not all content is good content. You know, that's something that I, I really struggle with, and I want to make sure that you know our guys are, are taken care of and taking care of their social media. I guess I should say, um, but also putting yourself out there, letting yourself be seen, all that kind of stuff is important. You know, and if you if you're invisible, it's hard to, to get seen sometimes. So. Being, being in the limelight, that be, you know, you're your own brand. Uh, shout out to Clocked In TV. I really appreciate them coming out here to Vegas and helping us. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter at One Motive Sports. All just spelled out. Uh, OneMotiveSports.com. I appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah.